Hi everyone, I'm K.S. Lewis. Welcome to Love Dish, where each week we infuse the richness of love and relationships with the goodness of great food. So how many of us have heard of power couples? We're, now, of course we've heard of them. We know about Beyonce and Jay-Z, and we've seen many others. But how many of you know what it takes to be successful at home and at work as a couple? Well, tonight I'm joined by CEO and stylist of Benici Mignon, Kimani Speller, and her talent manager husband, Leon Speller. And they're going to get down to the brass tacks on what it takes to be a true power couple. You might want to take notes, so make sure you meet me back in just a minute on Love Dish. As Lewis, and you see me sitting with my wonderful guest, the power couple I mentioned to you, Kimani Aww. Speller and Leon Speller. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for you. having us. I am so excited that you guys are here tonight, and so excited that I was able to, you know, to reach out and get you guys to take a little bit of time. I know you're busy. So thank you for taking the time to come and just hang out with me tonight. No problem. Thank you for having us. Thank you for yes. having us. Yes. Everything looks so beautiful, by the way. It does. It looks yes. yummy, right? Yes. I can't wait to hear about your dish and to eat it. So, <laughs> but before we get to that point, because you know I could just eat right now. Um, <laughs> but I want you to just take a moment. I mean, you are so busy. Yes. So CEO, stylist, artist, and talent manager. My goodness, like just tell everybody a little bit about who you are, what you do, and you know, just how how we can learn more about who you are. Okay. Well, I am Kamani Speller. Yes. Hello, everyone. And I am the CEO of Vinici Mignon. Yes. And you see, just, yes. you see we are rocking we our stuff tonight. We're right. sweating tonight. <laughs> um, along with me being the CEO of VM, I also do beauty, health, and wellness. Because in order for me to be healthy and look good and feel good, I have to make sure I'm a big advocate of health now. Yes. First, I wasn't, but now I see how it goes hand in hand yes. with business. So it helps me, you know, take care of myself. Like you said, I'm really busy. Yes. My husband is my partner in crime. So we're really hitting the streets out here advertising. Um, he will tell you what it is that he do mm -hmm. and how we kind of collide as one. So uh, My name is Leon. Yeah. For everybody that don't know, spell it. And, um, <laughs> I'm the husband, Jer, so to say. Yes. That's the title she gives me. Husband Jer, yeah. Well, husband um, Jer. Yeah, and I also, I also have my own business, um, a management company. Okay. And um, I work with, like, local artists and try to what help their artists? dreams come true. Um, I, I have, I work right now with two rap artists mm -hmm. and one singer. Okay, so more in the entertainment industry. Yes, okay. but I'm open to other things, too. Yeah, because I have to. Because <laughs> you have to. Yeah. yeah. You hear so you like saying, because I, I have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I come in on the, like, on the business aspect. Right. You know what I mean? So I try to keep everything in line and just okay. Yeah, keep things on the up and up and handle the business side of things. So. Yes, yes. So tell us a little bit about how you all got started as, um, as business partners. Because, I mean, of course, you're married. But it, it takes a little bit more to just decide, oh, we want to work together too. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. So for uh, let me start. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So for me, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, like uh, 
it's about to be five years now and Mignon is my middle name mm -hmm. so I knew I always wanted to do something with it okay. so for me when I bring it out there I was like it has to be strong mm -hmm. um, I know we have like a lot of urban wear that's within the DMV but I never wanted it to fade away so like right. I said I had to have a strong name so I came up with Venici I kind of married the two together mm -hmm. and so I brought it to him and he was like you know I think this will be great mm -hmm. you love fashion um, you know people gravitate towards you mm -hmm. and what you wear like go for it mm -hmm. so I started putting it out there and um, I had the work ethic but he's a researcher mm. and so I learned that from him like you know he googles everything he right. sees how do we go about this so I was like you know we're gonna do this together and being as though that we are married and we were together at the time it's just like you constantly lean on that person right. and I was like you know how, how is there a way I can implement like my man into what it yeah. is that I do because I felt so bad because I'm like what do you think about this what do you think about that and so he sat down with me he's like look you need a business plan mm -hmm. you need to slow yourself down and, and know what it is that you want to do so I knew what it is I wanted to do and we just kind of collided because like I said you have friends but sometimes they might not see your vision right he's with me 24 7 yes. so if it's the middle of the night I'm right. up on the laptop um, I have a photo shoot he's right there he sees it he yeah. it yes yes yes, <laughs> yes. so okay yeah awesome and so on top of um, working together, of course, you live together, and I'm assuming you cook together as well, yes. right? So tell us a little bit about the dish that you're going to cook tonight. I see the wonderful ingredients, so I'm super excited because you got a lot of my favorite things here. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about the dish. Okay. My and tell me what, like, why is a significant dish to you? Okay, well, the reason it's significant is because I, um, she has the Jamaican background. Okay. And so I had seen it online one day and I was like, I wanted to try it's Caribbean. I wanted to try it. Okay. You know what I mean? For her. Right. And anytime, like she really does majority of the cooking, but like anytime I cook, it got to be like extra. You know what I'm saying? So like. Because you got to impress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I got to let her know. You know what I'm saying? You know, right, right. I can do a few things still. You know what I mean? So, um, and I take, I, I do take a little bit of pride in it. You know what I mean? Because I like, I enjoy it. I always set myself up. I even got to my wine, my drink, my music, you know right, what I mean? Yeah. So when I get in cook mode, I'm in that mode. So I love it. Yeah, yeah. So that's the biggest thing was just like it was inspired by her background and I figured she would like it. So I love it. So I, I mean I'm getting goosebumps already just listening to you guys. Yeah. You can already I can feel the love. Yeah. I can see the love that's about to go down in the kitchen. So we are going to take a quick break so we can head into the kitchen and start cooking. Mm -hmm. I'm K.S. Lewis. This is Love Dish. Make sure you continue to take notes and come right back. Welcome back to Love Dish. I'm K.S. Lewis. You see, like I said, we're back in the kitchen. This is Kimani and Leon Speller. Hey. And we are going to cook this fabulous Caribbean-inspired dish. You see, we have all these wonderful ingredients here. Some of my favorite things. I love shrimp. I love pineapple. I love broccoli, rice. I so let's just get started because okay. I, I could eat it right now, <laughs> but I know you want to run it through some 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 hot grease or whatever. Yeah. So <laughs> don't want it, don't want it raw. Yeah, right. you don't want that. <laughs> All right. So first, I gonna move that a little yeah, bit. Yeah. He's so sweet. Yes. And then <laughs> I take my pineapple. Okay. And this is the hard part. It's not gonna be pretty. All right. So now nobody judge me. Now I get to pick a knife. So the first thing is to just cut the pineapple, right? I, I like to do that first because it's like the hardest and okay. most tedious thing to do. So I get that out the way. Okay. And um, I don't even have no and we both backed up dimensions. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> I don't have no dimensions on how I cut it. So I kind of just try to hit it. You're keeping it real with them. Center. That's right. That's yeah, right. Keep it on. Oh, there you go. Show them how strong you Show them how to do it. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to show them. Now for all of you out there that are trying to you know, be a power couple. The real test is whether your significant other can cut a pineapple. <laughs> I agree, Kay. Right. <laughs> it's yeah. work. It's hard. Yeah. It really is hard work. It has to show that managed side. That's right. You know? you know, and we have to give them the opportunity to show that yeah. side. So. Yes. so while we are, oh my God, my mouth just watered. I know. So, <laughs> so beautiful. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. So while we are, you know, cutting pineapple and getting moving with it, um, yeah, let's see. We got spoons. We got everything down in here. Let's see. How's this? You need something different? Probably something that's Okay. Maybe you can hit it with the knife and then you can scoop it. Man with a plan that can improvise. Yes. So, so I'm just going to ask a few questions. Sure. First, like, 
How did you how did you meet? I'd love to hear your you know, everything is really about the black love stories right yes. now. So tell us your black love story. Okay, so if I can be completely transparent. Absolutely. So we met each other very, very young. Okay. And um, I don't know if DC everybody rem remember the go go's? Yes. So I met my husband at a go go, okay? <laughs> I have to keep it real with y'all. Now just do a quick explanation of what a go go is for people that might be watching and not be familiar with our area. Okay, so in DC you kinda have like Chuck Brown, Red Essence, Junkyard, these are some of the ones your mom may know yep. about. Um as time gets passed on the younger people we have bands that evolve, you know. I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna get another one. Oh, okay. okay, so we have bands that evolve, and my husband picked, played in the band, and so he sent someone over to tap me on the shoulder, and I, gosh, guys, I was interested. So from there on, we talked, we exchanged numbers, we hit it off. Um, years later, we had a kid, and then we kind of said, you know what, we're really feeling each other. And so we saw we had a lot of similar interests. Yeah. You know, I'm a very driven person. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's, I think that was a characteristic he liked in me. And I felt that, you know, he was super smart. I feel like I got to pull a lot out of him other people didn't see. That's awesome. So that was the kind of thing that was like, you know what, he's a little gem. We we got a little work to do, but yeah. he's a gem. Yeah. And so I knew that um, both of us would be like an asset to each other's lives. So we just grew together. And as you get older, you learn. And here we are now. So, that's so I, you, you said a couple of things that I really, really love. You pointed out like some of his major assets that you yes. saw right away. Yeah. And then of course you called him a gym, which <laughs> I think is beautiful. Yeah. But you know, I think people don't take the time to, you know, they meet people, they meet, you know, a guy or a guy meets a female and they don't, they might see that surface. Yeah. But they don't take the time to get to know each other enough to pull some of those things that are really significant that can that can help you down yeah, the line, you know, so or they can be a good fit for where you're going. Yeah. So I love that. I love that. Yes. I you're, really you're a gem. Yes. You yeah. are a gem. The way you got this fine now. I see the struggle. Yes. Yeah. Do you see the sweat on his forehead? <laughs> He just put the whole knife down. He's using the spoon. I can't even. I, I can't even fall. Yeah, right no, we're gonna eat all of this, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, making sure we don't contaminate. So I know. So you said, you know, you guys. Of course, you guys. You know, were attracted to one another. Yes. You started a relationship. Yeah. And then you said years later. Mm -hmm. How did you decide to begin to work together? Um. So when I saw like, well, as we got older and we evolved the mindset, I really knew it was past just the surface of us being attracted to one another. Mm -hmm. Like for me, um, I like someone that's driven just like I am. And yes. even if you're not there, if I see that, okay, we can possibly do this thing. And then the conversation got different. Mm -hmm. You know, he was reading different books and meeting different people, um, expanding his horizons. And that's what attracted to me. Because for me, I have to have good conversation right. with you. I'm mentally checked out if you can't pour into me and I can't right. pour into to use. I have to learn something. Mm -hmm. And so from there, when I started talking about business and I saw he had a business mindset, it just it, it really just was organic from there on. Like things just start hitting off the light bulb, start com coming on. And next thing you know, of course, I hung out with my girlfriends, but I was spending a lot of time with my man. It's just because we were really, you know, getting on the same page, aligning, not just with business, but spiritually as well. Right. So, you know, we which was is important, very important. It's essential, really. Yes, it's very essential. Mm -hmm. My husband grew up in the church mm -hmm. more so than me. Like we didn't go a lot like we needed to. Right. So for him, like he knows the Bible. Mm -hmm. So we would talk and we would sit about talk and sit about that and things like that. So that was another thing that attracted me is that, you know, he had Bible principles. He taught me things, you know, and so that was a good thing. Yeah, I love it. I love it. You, you want to add anything? Leon is no, Leon, 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 Yeah, Leon <laughs> Look at this teamwork. <laughs> Thank you, bro. And you know what? I, th I think I'm, I'm super inspired just by listening to your story because, you know, when when you are a business owner, and both of us are, yes. all three of us are, yes, feel you know, it's super important to link up with someone that has that same mindset. Yes. And even if they're not a business owner per se, I think being able to understand where you are in business and being able to support what you do is important because when you have someone that doesn't understand that, you know, then miscommunication can happen. Yes. You know, like it, it, it's just, you know, it can kind of lead the whole relationship down a, a different path. I totally path. agree. I totally so, agree. You know, yeah. do you think that if he were not as business minded as he is, uh -huh. that you would have the success that you have in your business and in your relationship? 
Okay, so again, if I can be transparent. Absolutely. Um, I'm a go-getter, so I'm going to get whatever it is that I want, but I, do, I can't say that the things that he add value to as far as being open-minded, being, being a businessman, um, it's so hard to say because I had that, and I honestly, I do believe that if he wasn't, it would affect it. Okay. Because I hear a lot of women where they're working long hours or um, their husband really can't take them being so busy, but the, the pleasure that I do have is that we're both on the same page. Right. Um, I, I, I do believe that it probably would affect if he wasn't mentally where I was at. Right. Yes. Or I, maybe I, if he was doing something totally opposite, you yeah. know, that just wasn't a... <laughs> that you know was just on this you know just wasn't on the same page yeah because i'm a woman first so, before business right. so of course i would want someone to be on the same page as me yeah. to pour into me so yeah i do i would say that it probably would definitely be a different no matter even if i'm ambitious i'm going if i didn't have the support or just the mindset of how he understands i do think that it would be different yes right. wow well, we are going to assist Leon just a little bit because we're women. We're we going to talk, 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 yes. talk, talk. But we're going to take a quick commercial break, help Leon out with the rest of this pineapple, and we will be right back. Please keep watching Love Dish because we have more to share. <laughs> Welcome back to Love Dish. We are in the kitchen getting it going. You see the well, the pineapple was cut. It's now that's chilling, just kind of hanging out, waiting on us to bring it on back into the party a little later. And Kimani, you are about to do some shrimp. Yeah, and I stopped about to remove the tail. Okay. And get things going so we can get to eat. Okay. All right. And Leon, you're about to put some some hurting on that broccoli <laughs> over there. Right? I'm country, y'all. Yeah. So I say y'all, I, I, like, like, I say put a hurt, and I you say put a hurt. Hurt. Real tonight. Okay. <laughs> But I just want to recap. So I love what you were talking about as far as, of course, how you met and yes. then just being able to identify vision in each other. Because essentially yes. that's what you're saying, right? Right. Yes. Being able to identify vision, being able to connect that vision together and then move forward with a plan together. Right. And I think that's so important for couples, you know, whether you are... We're planning to work together or not. Right. Being able to identify the best way to come together and either work in the home, work in the office, you know, just just make it work. So. And for me, the biggest thing is uh, I don't think a lot of people understand the balance. Mm -hmm. And um, it's very important, especially when you have a significant other who's busy all the time. You have to be understanding. If you agree with their common goal and you understanding of that, then you know, well, I can't be a certain way because we're not going to progress together if right, right. I'm not supporting you and you're not supporting me. And what, give us a little bit more when you say be a certain way. Like, how does that look? Because I think, like, I think what you're saying can really help somebody out there yeah. that might, you know, be dealing with someone who might be on the brink of whatever their big thing is mm -hmm. and they're just trying to understand how to be the, the most supportive, significant other they can be. Well, it's just, it's just being understanding and being supportive. Um, Like, one of the Biggest things I use is like, Kamani's up late a lot of nights and things like that, so she needs my involvement. So sometimes like I might be sleep, like I get up in the morning, I have to like I roll over and I have to. I don't want to use the word entertain, but whatever she, whatever it is she need me for at that time, I have to. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I have to be there. She like, and it's, but it's ideas about the businesses. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah, roll over and entertain. Too. <laughs> but. But it's about I the business. Say so, one word about that. <laughs> it's about the business. So it's like, all right, even though I'm tired, I have to give this to her because she needs me right now. You know yeah. what I mean? And I think a lot of people put their self first mm -hmm. and they don't grasp that concept as right. far as like this is a partnership. Yeah. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day it's like it's give and take. And um it's a lot of it's a lot of sac it's a lot of sacrifice and just selflessness. And I do believe pick back on what you're saying, um, I always say try to find something that you know your spouse is good at. Right. Not every time the business you may be in, your spouse can, you know, be a part of that. But for me, like, I saw what my husband was good at. Right. So instead of leaving him behind or getting someone else to do it, I implemented what it is that he was good at with strength and weakness. Yeah. You know, you're not always good at and efficient in something. I saw where he was good at things and where I was good at things. So we merged it together by understanding everybody's story isn't that. Right. You're not going to, I may like something, you may not like that. Right. So it may not work for us to make a merge on it. But if you see something, that's why I, I, I'm big on paying attention to my husband. Even though I have a business, I slow it down a lot to say, let me listen to him. Right. Let me see what his nude is. He's doing what hobby he done picked up, what he like. 
And as I'm listening, I make a mental note of that. I know yeah. how I can implement things going forward, whether it be in my business or later on down the line that, you know, he's good at. You know, you I just have that. to make those mental notes and don't just think it's all about you. I love that. So. How long did it take you guys to get to that point? Because, I mean, of course I know it didn't happen overnight. No. You know, and I don't want to give anybody a false sense of, of an idea of the amount of time that it takes to grow in that direction. For me, for me, it um it didn't take long because when she kept she had kept when she first started with Venetian Mia, she kept talking about it, mm -hmm. and I pay attention to her and like I really, I'm really into her. So like when she kept talking about it, I was just like, you know what, we just gonna do it. And so I had already planned it myself in my head, like this day we, I'm just be like, hey, look, we just gonna get this budget together, and we gonna start, it. we gonna do it. You know what I mean? Ain't no more talking about, okay. we just gonna do it. And so um for me, I never really found. In the beginning, I never really found my own passion, so to speak. I just went to work or whatever, and so because I was helping her so much. Okay. So then, once we got to a certain point, she was like, "Hey, like you're good at this. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like you need to be doing this." So I was like, "One day, I just went. and I got this LLC, like, this oh. management company." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so and that's how I mean that's how I played it out. So I mean it wasn't overnight, but you have to pay attention to your partner. Right. You know what I mean? You do because you hear so many stories where. You know, guys feel like they're just running behind whatever right. it is that their wife does or their friends are making fun of them. And for me, like, I'm big on this. If I stand strong, my husband's going to stand strong. Right. So he don't have to just lean on me to get his validation. Mm -hmm. He's great at other things, so you're going to know it. And, you know, in due time, like he said, even though his LLC came after mine, you know, he's he's on the move now. He's I busy and he's doing stuff. Mm -hmm. so. I love that. I, and, I, and it sounds like... You all really found a way to encourage each other. Yeah. You found a way to be vulnerable enough to say, you know, this is what I see in mm -hmm. you, and this is how I want to help push you as well. That's so and important. You, it is because you have you have you have to be. If you if I can't be like that with her, you know what right. I mean. This is the only person I'm I am like that with. You yeah. know what I mean. You see a lot of people, especially in relationships, people feel like somebody got to be the dominant person, right. and that's and it's true because you know how to let me be, let a man be a man, right? And she gives me that. But I under, I gotta understand that she has a purpose in this relationship too. Yes. You know what I mean. So when we yeah, when we okay. combine them together, yeah, when we combine <laughs> them together. I mean, it's nothing yeah. that we can't do together. So that that's how awesome. I look at things. Yeah, even when, let's not say all the like the goodness, you know. Right. So even when things happen, you know, mm -hmm. they say shit. Happens. Can yeah. I say that? Shit happens. Yeah, you can say that. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> shit happens. And so when we do have things that's unforeseen hit us, right. that's the first thing I'm going to find. Like, look, well, we got through this thing and we got through that. So we're going to get through this. Yeah. You know, even if I cry for a second, mm -hmm. even if he, like, I'm calling you right back, got to put his head down. When we come back, this is the real stuff mm -hmm. that happens. You know, we have kids, we have unforeseen things that happen, we have right. family members. So I just look at things that we got past and I say, we can we can do this. And that's just how we get past things. And I think that's important because what you're, what you're essentially talking about is making a commitment to one another exactly. you know and once you decide to make a commitment to one another you know that there'll be times of up downs and middles but you just got to make it work yeah you know? and the biggest thing with commitment is it what commitment comes consistency and a lot of people right. are afraid to commit that. to things because you have to stay consistent with what you mm -hmm. you know what I mean what you commit to I do. don't think people take the time to learn each other enough to stay consistent. they don't but they're no. not even they're, they're not even like that with themselves right. so you know what I mean? that's so true that's you know because we see it um you know I I encourage my friends all the time mm -hmm. and, and I, I see my husband he he I, I'm one that believes I believe whatever you want that's what you want right and I understand that but I do understand that sometimes you everything is not put out like that like you have to compromise right. with people so and true. so there's a lot of young ladies you know they want what they want and yeah. so they're not willing to stick around and wait around to someone that's that gem right. can bloom and that concrete from the rose type thing they're not waiting for that they want that instant gratification that's well in you might be on prize this week yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right and see, and that's, in, that's in business you know. and relationship because i'll be having to explain that to her like yeah. i remember one time she asked me she was like would you uh would you talk to a girl who worked at a gas station i said if her dream's big you know what i'm saying like, how you know she don't own a gas station yeah, she's gonna let like, her own a gas station you, you never you never know you never know so like i'd be like sometimes you gotta be in it for the like for the long game but sometimes you just got like instant gratification isn't yes. something you can look for all the time you right. know what i mean so I explain because this, like, even like with business, a lot of stuff goes on before she actually get to where she got to go or do right. the things she had to do so that true. people don't see that I got to deal with. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so it's That's like, so true. Yeah. and I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you got to have that strong exactly, partner. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You know, if you're going to make a decision to, to work together and love together, you got to have that strong yep. partner that's willing to, to put up with all the things that get you to the, the yep. here we are, you know, yeah. that get you to that place where, like you said, you know, there's a lot of stuff that happens before you even get there. Yeah. So, yeah. And you have to um, 
expand your horizon, even with food. Like, yes. learn behavior <laughs> is. Oh, it's the devil sometimes. Because the way he grew up and the way I grew up yes. is different. So even when we're in the kitchen, I'm like, I'm looking at him like, don't do that. Yeah. And then, don't you do this? And he's the type, like, his his family, they're like that. They'll try anything. Mm -hmm. um, I, as I'm getting older, I'm learning to try different stuff. Right. I keep ordering. You go on now, you keep ordering chicken tenders and fur tries all the time. Get that steak. Try something different. <laughs> And so my husband, he sometimes he gets in all these diced up this and that. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, let me sample it to make sure it tastes good. But you know, you and that's another that's a compromise. Yeah, like I said, definitely. learn behavior. He grew up one way, I grew up another. So certain seasons he used certain stuff that he looks like gulag. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> you know, I'm literally like losing it. And he's like, you know what? And that's something that can make him upset. You know what? Right. Let me do right. it. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and I'm in the yeah. corner. Yeah. Yeah. Real bad. I remember yeah. this one time. Literally, and this shit gonna be like, I like, I ain't gonna. Alright, I ain't gonna like she leave out of here with Jimmy looking. Yeah, yeah. Like, or I'll feel bad. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Or I'll feel bad that at least he attempted to cook. And yeah. here I go trying to oversee stuff and run That's it. True. And so I'll let it come back and I'll be like, you know, I'll just, no, I'm just gonna cut it off. And I'll go, and he, and he's over it. No, this is what he did for the room, y'all. He don't wanna do it anymore because I'd have right. pissed him off. Right. You know, I so, I, eat, I mean, even through your stomach, it's differences. Like, oh. it's, it's, it's real. Even through the food, it's differences. Well, so. let me ask one more question as you guys are getting ready to transfer it into the pan. Okay. Um, what's your no tolerance zone for love and work? Uh, no tolerance. I don't know. I think I, I think I compromise a lot. I don't think I have a no tolerance zone for her, her work. No, just in like, general. Like, like, you guys are a couple yeah. regardless and, and first. Oh, yeah. yeah so, yeah. what's your no tolerance? Like, I'm not tolerating that. Um, so, I, we haven't like reached there, but for me, I know like, if I'm dealing with something that maybe like a man and not that my husband trusts me if I'm doing a mm -hmm, business mm -hmm. something um but the good thing is my husband is my husbander so a lot of things that we do together I we, like that <laughs> husband he is so um, I think it's known to people so I they don't really um approach the situation okay. um, oh, yeah, professional yeah, yeah, yeah. but um when I feel like okay I'll just like let my husband deal with that email mm -hmm. so they know from the gate like right. you know this is what it is don't you know it. don't even try it right. but other than that no I know for me um he does artist development, deal with mm -hmm. his manager. So for me, we just have a respect boundary. Like I know sometimes if I can't always go. That's just right. it. I had to learn at the hallway. Like right. you know, sit down sometimes. <laughs> you can't always go. And so when he goes, even if he's out late, you know he's very respectful of mm -hmm. that. Like I don't care what's going on. Nobody is that important, right? right. Yeah, from right. our that's household. Yeah, that's like that's my right. talk. Like look, that's it ain't that much like mixing and mastering <laughs> in the world. Just saying, how like this is the time. Yeah, boy, I girl. even drive my car with my girlfriends because I don't play that. Like right. oh got sick and uh, okay that's why I'm driving or my husband come get me and there's Uber right. you know so I just really think like things happen whether it's a little over 12 1 o'clock whatever okay. because he's working I'm working nine times out of ten we are together but that coming home super late it's yeah. the next morning the sun and birds are chirping that's a no no that's because true. nothing comes before us that we're not in bed and I see him and I know that he's okay and he knows that I'm okay right. so that's definitely we don't cross those lines and if we're out late we're together right so yeah I don't think I I don't know. I do because I don't like her touching my stuff sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's big. It's like I can't say it's no tolerance because I let right. her do it, but it, it right. pisses. It do piss. It burn me up. <laughs> Especially so what like kind of stuff. What kind like of stuff it, it, it could be. It could be. Any, it could be anything. One. The biggest thing I'm gonna say is what my like my clothes. Yeah. Oh man, like my clothes. I come home and I want to wear something and she done put the whole outfit. My daughter, we use his hairbrush. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I'm like my brush. They did do they edges, the two brushes in the house. Oh, God. Man, you know that's big, Lee. The edges, the, yeah, I don't, it's So what fine. you gotta do is buy their own, buy them a set of toothbrushes. No matter how many. No matter how many. Or his do braids. So my daughter gets like braids and we can't find her skull. We yeah, they be taking them because my braids got popped. So they be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they take my stuff. I just, that's my biggest thing, man. My, and like, I'm big on like, when I put something oh somewhere, goodness. I know it's there. So right. like, don't move it. And then don't tell me you don't know where it's there. Yeah. Don't tell me. You so you heard that, everybody. Make sure you have a no tolerance list and don't use your honey's do rags or his <laughs> wave brush. brush or his wave <laughs> brush. Okay, that's, I mean, you gonna keep a happy home happy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or keep a struggling home happy. Yeah, right? it, <laughs> so, <laughs> but let's take a quick break and get this finished. But um, again, let's keep ha let's keep homes happy. Yes. Okay, we'll be right back.
Welcome back to Love Dish. I'm K.S. Lewis with my guests tonight, power couple Kimani and Leon Speller. They have been whipping up the most adorable, well, first of all, they're adorable, and their dish is adorable, and their answers have been adorable, everything. Aww. So, <laughs> but right now we have the food cooking. You can kind of see we have the shrimp, we have the rice going, we have the broccoli going. And so while we're taking a minute to just let this finish up, okay. let's play a little game. Is okay. that okay? Yeah. All right. All right, so we're so going to play what I like to call Power Couple Trivia. So I gave them a few questions ahead of time, and they had to answer those questions. But the question they were answering is based on their their significant other. So I'll ask a question, and you are telling me the answer that you think the other person will say. Make sense? All yeah. right. Okay, so first thing. And I'm hoping that it matches up. Now, I, wanna, now, I don't want anybody to come for me in the comments. We all know that this is very similar to a game yes. that we've seen on TV and we've seen played for many, many years. Shout out to that game. <laughs> 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 but we're going to play th we're gonna play it this way. So, yes. what is your favorite color? Am I first? Yes. What I'm is Leon's favorite color? Blue. Okay. Is that the right answer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now hers? Um, it's difficult. It's not one. It's not one. You think it's, you already covered with No, for real, it's not one. It's, she's like, she like pink, purple, and gold. Yes, that's true. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. Your that's true. Friends, pink, purple, and gold. I just say, he had to get within the spectrum. <laughs> right. Yeah. <that's> <laughs> and you know, I, pink, purple, and, well, not purple, but pink, black, and gold are the colors of the Love Dish logo. So, okay. Mm. Yeah. More ways that we're that we're connected. Mm -hmm. All right, where was your first date? Okay, do not judge me. We've been together a long time, guys. Like since we're young to us being thriving adults, I'm really struggling with <laughs> that one. Spilled. Serious, I have to. I'm keeping it real. I gotta keep it real. Go for it. So, but you gotta answer. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> I'm really trying to think on this one. Mm. Uh oh. Um, mm. Uh oh. Mm. Can you help mm. me out? I put that our first <laughs> our first date was uh I don't remember if we went to hey, cons or the movies because remember we used to go to cons we started going all the time I think that was like our first date on Eighth Street. Oh, I was thinking stuff? it. I was thinking it was the one in VA that we went to. Remember, and they mm. had all the seafood. It was kind of some, something like this. Remember, we drove out there VA and you don't remember that. No. So we're keeping score. Yeah, that, we don't remember that. So both y'all have a point right now. I had to find a name of it. I was trying to look it up. <laughs> I, I, I will just make you remember, but I don't want to be so embarrassing on TV. That was that day? Uh oh. Next question. <laughs> I do. I do. Okay. Okay, so should I give, I don't know, should I give them a point for that? Please, one? guys. I get a point. I said something. He did say something. I know. All right, so Leon gets a point for that. So let's do the one right now. Okay. All right, number three. Prefer football or basketball? I answer? Yes. He prefers basketball. Okay. <laughs> she don't really care. She don't have a preference of what the sport is. <laughs> okay. And is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, right. All right, right. All right. All right. All right. Yep. All right. Favorite basketball team? Can I help? Yes. The Celtics. <laughs> <laughs> she don't. She don't have a basketball team. She like players. That's cute. Whoever cute. Yeah. Oh, who's the player? Like, we don't got all of who's the player. It depends. Like I just be looking for them. Like I think. Oh, what's that new guy? He just got hurt. A oh, poor baby. What's his name? <laughs> oh, um, Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie Irving. Yeah, and I think he's okay. kind of cute. Um, Here's a fun fact. So I spent many years working at Duke University, and Kyrie was a student there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very a nice guy. Very, very nice. Okay. Shout out to Kyrie. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite football team? Can I go? Yes. He likes the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, yeah. why? Oh, oh man. Man. In the household, that was it. Okay. Cowboy Those household. learned behaviors we were talking about That's right. earlier, girl. That's right. We talked about that. Telling you it's something. Oh, man. He, 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 he don't even live in that state. He, he, he from D.C. That's what D.C. stands you know for. Cowboy. But you know what? There's so many people here that either have an allegiance to the Redskins or the Cowboys. Yeah. So yeah. I understand. I'm a Denver Broncos girl through and through. Really? Yes. I love the Denver Broncos. Okay. I used to live in Denver when I was young, and I just, John Elway was quarterback then, and yeah. it just stuck. So, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Favorite singer? For me, I hope I get this right because he likes her smile. I put Jill Scott. Okay. Uh, see? But is it correct? Yeah, it okay. is. She's one, of my, she's one of my favorite. I have a couple favorite, but Jill Scott is. Yeah, I love okay. it. She smiles when she sings. 
Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I love she, it. Has a, she has a beautiful smile. Yeah, yeah. She, All right, see? You know her, Beyonce. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a part that of the whole generation. High. I'm, that whole I'm generation. a part okay. of the whole generation. All right, yes, all right. I am. Favorite movie? Okay, so this guy loves movies. His favorite sitcom is Martin. So I went with Bad Boys because he's always watching it. That may not be correct because he watched a lot of movies. So I Bad Boys come on, he'll watch it like he never watched it before. And Martin is always on the TV or on playback. So that's yeah, that's what I'm with. Any movie Martin ever watched? Any movie Martin ever watched? So, but did you get the movie right? Yeah. No. No. no, no. Uh, what's, your favorite, what's your favorite movie? I don't have a favorite movie, See? but like, but, but, no. But I like like. Goodfellas, Scarface, Casino, all those oh, type of movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Games so you like those movies. Yeah, he does yeah, like games movies. Okay. Oh, gosh. Favorite movie. I wrote it down. Let me check my notes. Yeah. I did write it. You know, my notes. My notes, my notes. My notes. <laughs> I'm saying it somewhere. Oh, I didn't write favorite movie down. Her favorite movie, I don't, it used to be Two Wong Fu. Yeah, not, not what I said. I just liked it. It wasn't my favorite. Was favorite? I, I just I like dramas. I like you know. Oh, I did it. write that down too though. She like she like anything that's like low budget or like black <laughs> like a black <laughs> film. She like oh, she, <laughs> anything that's like she yeah that is true. That's her favorite. That's, I can lose the point, but that's true. That's true. I like we like be, we be scrolling through the TV. No, and I'd be like, babe, I'm not watching that. Like, it's no. like we have to do this flavor. Not to say that black films oh. are low budget. Yes, no. yes. No, not amazing that, black films. They, yes. yes. they do, they do be yes. good. I just right. didn't know the name of them. It's my nana's like, fault, though. I was so young. I grew up with my nana. Right? <laughs> like, I mean, I spent a lot of time with her, so we right. would sit and watch like Lifetime okay. and Law and Order. Okay. So I just like stuff underneath. So neither of you all got the point on that. Yeah, all right. Favorite song. Her favorite song. Oh, yeah, my favorite I struggle song. with that because when we cook and we're just in the house, we like um nineties, like old oh, yeah. music. So we just let our stations flow. Like, we okay. don't even listen to the radio for real. Mm-hmm. It's just like uh no yeah. wrong. We, we turn mm-hmm. up. We turn right, up. right. But we, we the radio like, can be tricky. We like, yeah, we like R and B. So I can't I couldn't pinpoint it. I'll mm-hmm. be honest. So you I'll ain't getting no point. Make sure she don't get no because you dug in a lot of these questions. Oh no. That was two. She didn't give her me an answer. Song. She didn't get no answer. That was what I'm telling you. I don't. Her, uh, What's her favorite song? The um, I mean, Natasha Benefield. Uh, that's why you keep the one. No. That one. That is your favorite song. You can play that to death. No, I like that song, but I, I like Emile LaRue. Which one? For real. That oh, song. Yeah, that's a that's good my song. jam. That's I do. So, so oh, neither of you get the point on that one. And the last question What do you think was the first thing that attracted your partner to you? I, oh, so I have to answer from his behalf, right? Mm-hmm. So I was thinking about the first time we met. Okay. So I was thinking when I met him, I had like these um, two buns uh-huh. and my hair was up and like my little smile. <laughs> I, we were so young. So that's right. why I always reflect to that. And literally my hair was part down the middle and just like oh, two Like cute. the princess like a, Yeah, like a little Mickey, Minnie Mouse yeah. type thing. And yeah. And so literally I met him in that state, that raw state, no makeup, just Aww. a little lip gloss and that, you know. So. Absolutely correct. Okay. Yeah, it was her natural, it was her natural hair. It was her natural hair. It was her natural hair. Too, and that was like a oh, big thing for me. So that's yeah. So cute. Um, and you're and now you're in. The- I don't put my face because I'm. Mad. <laughs> that was that's true. the only thing I can think of. That's true. That's true. That's true. It's so silly. All right. So who ta- did we get a tally of the game? Who won? I think I know who the winner is, but I just want to check with our judges just to make sure that we. Okay, I that's guess we're in agreement. Time. I think I think Leon. I know. <laughs> Welcome back. As you can see, we have come back in here. We plated the food. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. I'm so ready to dig in. But before we do, I want to ask a couple more questions, if that's okay. Sure. Um, can you offer pointers to couples that you know success to successfully work together? For me, yeah. For me, the biggest thing, like I said, I believe I said it earlier, was the balance. You know what I mean? Just understanding your partner, being supportive of your partner. If you're really into a person, you'll find that placement. I agree. You know what I mean? So that's my that's my biggest thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
take the time for your partner. I'm learning it as being a, being a business owner. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to compromise. It's not all about you. And sometimes as women, you, I know for me, I'll speak for myself, you kind of get caught up with what it is that you're doing. Yeah. And you just have to really slow down. Learn to appreciate your partner. I have times where, and, I, and I'm not trying to sound mushy, but it's me being real. Right. I'll literally just think, and I can be driving somewhere, and I'm like, you know what, let me text my husband and let him know how much I appreciate him. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, because life is short. Yes. And, you know, I, I literally sometimes, and I know I should shouldn't but I sometimes think about life like if my husband was not here right. so I really try to like live in the now and right. really appreciate him and versus little things that may upset me just let it go because right. that stuff is not important I need to live in that now love up with my husband right. while I have him and if it's something that you can work past like get past it you know forgive one another wherever right. it may be and just you know move forward as long as no one's disrespecting you and making you look crazy but if it's small minute things you know you can get past that stuff because no one's perfect that's we're so all true. imperfect human beings, you so know. True. And I didn't learn this overnight. You know, right. I learned this as time ago. Mm -hmm. I'm 28 years old, so yeah. I learned year by year. I always say everybody has 365 to get it right. Yes. So yes, I love that. So I, I love just thank you so much again for spending this no evening problem. with me. No it's been so fun. Yes. It's been so yes, fun. It has. And yes, I it love has. that you guys. You know, you really were able to show us all about balance about compromise yeah. about communication yeah. and consistency and then just you know just how to be a successful couple at <laughs> home and at work so for yeah. those of you that are together and you're thinking about you know what's the next step if you're if you're business minded yeah. hey they gave you all <laughs> the keys tonight okay so I always ask this last question and then I want you to just tell people how to how to find you and how okay. to keep up with what you're doing but my last question is what is your greatest hope for love? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just the, uh, just longevity for me. You know what I mean? To be able to have that same love for years and yes. years and years. Yes. You know? So. I agree. We were just in the grocery store and we saw an old couple. Yeah, she was like, like that. yeah, that's us. Aww. You know, that's us. Like, people are like, oh, you guys still new. We're still in our early phases. Like, I just really don't believe that. Like, I really mm. know that. I know that me and my husband are going to be together until death do us part, like we took our vows. And not being cliche, but I just really feel like my husband is my other head, yeah. you know, so. That is so awesome. So, why don't you give people an idea of how they can, first of all, how they can keep up with you and tell us about all the exciting projects that are going on with you now. All right, so you can find me on social media. That's Kima with two underscores, K-I-M-A, with one underscore right after that. Mm -hmm. And for my business page, Venetia Mayon, website is just how you see it, and my Instagram handle is just how you see it. So it's mm -hmm. right here for you. As far as what I have coming up next, I have new merchandise that's coming up. Mm -hmm. So soon you guys will be able to see that on my website. Also, as I explained, I do health, beauty, and wellness. Mm -hmm. So I'm always doing that on a daily basis. So awesome. if you're looking to get in your nice and skinny and as I always am <laughs> and then even not even if you don't I'm not saying you have to lose weight but just taking care of right. yourself vitamins replenishing yeah. your just hair being healthy, right? just being healthy yeah hit me up give me a message or email I have all that in my bio which I just gave you guys awesome so, yeah awesome. yep and I can be found at Chase the Line Management, MG, <laughs> MGMT. MGMT. I've been forgetting, so yes. it's like Chase the Line, MGMT yes. on social media. That's Instagram. That's, I think that's the only social media that I have. I'm not a big social media person. Yeah. And um, projects I have coming up is pretty much anything wifey is doing. Yeah. I'm involved with that and also just working with my, continue to work with my artists. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for that information, and thank you for tuning in. You can catch me here every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. In the meantime, if you'd like the recipe, check us out in the comments below. Make a comment, try it, let me know how you like it, and please do not forget to subscribe. I'm K.S. Lewis with Love Dish, and we're going to dig in right yes, now. Yes, we are. We're like on an island right now. I know. All we need is some, some music so you, yes. of a humble mama or something. Oh, yes. Mm. Sit right here, my dear Come on, baby, open up about your fears Let's talk about love Laughs and tears, I hope that I make it clear For you, love, I'm here Baby, just show me your heart You know that this could be the very start Something wonderful, so incredible Just the right amount of flavor Makes this a dish we both can say